welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us learn something about Art of Indus Valley. Art of Indus Valley that dates back to more than 3000 BC can be understood from the following major sources. They are seals, pottery, stone and metal images and ornaments. The art of carving on metals and stones was popular in Indus Valley culture. Dr. Mackey, the historian says that the stone and pottery seal amulets provide the largest contribution to the subject of art and sculpture of Indus Valley. Seals During investigation and excavations of Mohenjadaro and Harappa, Archaeologists discovered more than 600 seals artistically carved with pictures of gods, animals and trees. Historians were of opinion that seals might have been used for trade and there, were, may, there may be the seals for each individual because plenty of seals were discovered. Most of the seals were 2 inches long and 2 inches wide and smaller Bigger were also there, rectangular square seals were also found. The seal contained an image and some pictographic script. Seals were made with different materials such as ivory, terracotta, copper, stratite, etc. Common animals found on seals were bull, tiger, elephant, buffalo, goat. Some seals were also depicted images of trees, human figures, some mixed figures of man and animals. The seals had images of tiger which was also worshipped as god and another prominent figure was bull. According to Dr. Meike, bull may be the vehicle of Shiva. The two historians were of opinion that the figure with horned human face and bull tail fighting with tiger shows a demon attacking god in a war. It was discovered that people were art lovers and artists. They found several mud pots painted in red and black color with attractive paintings, terracotta dolls, different kinds of jewelry, images. All these were proofs of art of those days. The prominent works were Dancing Girl, a deity with horn and three faces surrounded by a large number of animals. Dr. Marshall identified that figure, figure as Shiva the, and, or Pasupati. He also says that it was the prominent deity because many seals were found with such image. They also found another seal with goddess seated and has large number of bangles on both hands. He says that she may be the consort of the god. Another seal was with a horned goddess in the middle of a tree which may be pipal tree Along with another deity in this image, goddess and the worshippers had long hair and bangles on both hands. Stone and metal uh, statues, stone and bronze and terracotta figures were found in large number. Among stone figures, two male figures were prominent. They are the source to find the lifestyle and costumes they used. Stone image of beard man covered with a rich shawl on left shoulder is the beautiful and fine art. Bronze statues were common during Indus Valley civilization. Some Indian historians were of opinion that the manufacturing process of bronze idols was same as is followed now in India. That means this art continued without break till date. There were several animals and human figures made with bronze and the dancing girl is a significant among these. Terracotta figures of both human and animals were also very popular. Some terracotta deities playing toys, uh, birds, animals, male figures with beard in standing position were also found. Pottery. Indus Valley pottery was very fine wheel made pots and vessels with different colors and designs. Polychrome pottery was also found but not on a large scale. Miniature pottery with excellent finishing amazed the historians. Much of pottery found were with attractive designs and high quality finishing. Then comes ornaments and jewelry and the majority of 
human beings both men and women were wearing jewelry made with beads metals like gold copper shells they found artistically made hair pins and other ornaments men and women decorated with all kinds of ornaments it also proved that men and women of indus valley were careful in maintaining modern trends in dressing and ornaments in this context the historian said the representation of animals designed on seals indicate a high degree of artistic excellence the stone images are in equal state with excellence with greek statues they used gold silver copper and some other metals but iron was not found in their investigations it can be concluded that the indus valley artists and craftsmen were very efficient highly professional somewhere beyond 3000 bc that's all in this video all the best